Editors of the Swedish daily Afton Bladet newspaper say they had no idea the report would stir such controversy when it was published in the paper's culture pages. It was, they insist, merely giving a voice to Palestinian families who believe Israel may have harvested the organs of their dead loved ones. Freelance journalist Donald Bostrom first published the story in a book in 2001. Then it passed unnoticed by the Israeli authorities. Now it's caused a diplomatic storm. It's based on dozens of Palestinian families saying we think, we believe or we are sure. For me it's enough to raise the question. The article itself never take any stand. The article or me don't have any opinion except that this have to be further investigated because of the families. And yet you as the journalist who wrote the piece don't yourself believe that the Israelis have harvested Palestinian organs? I can hardly believe, uh, especially not um, the army, I don't believe that the army have done it. But it's question marks, it's war, they have violating international law, so it have to be investigated, definitely. The editor who commissioned it also admits there's little to substantiate the report and she blames mistranslations of the original Swedish for creating the impression the report accuses Israel of specific crimes. The first crime is that these Palestinians were killed. The second crime is that autopsies were carried out without the permission of the families. What happened after that we don't know. But for the Palestinians, this is an important question. They assume the organs were taken, but we don't know that yet. The paper is continuing to investigate the story with its reporters on the ground in the Middle East. The Swedish government, meanwhile, citing freedom of speech provisions in the Constitution, has refused Israeli demands that it denounce Afton Bladet and force a retraction. But fanning the debate over a report that both the newspaper and its journalist admit is based on little more than circumstantial evidence is the notion in some corners of Israeli politics that Sweden in particular and the EU in general have a soft spot for the Palestinians. Countering that, the view of some in Europe that Israel's reaction to the story, its claims of anti-Semitism, are as much as anything else about drumming up domestic support at a time when the Israeli government is under immense pressure to restart the peace process. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Stockholm, Sweden.